All right, hey everyone, it's uh, James again. This is going to be the first of many uh, weekly dev blogs. We're going to try to do them weekly at least. They're going to be very uh, informal. I pretty much just have like a bullet list of stuff I want to cover. And uh, so I'm not like, you know, really reading off a script or anything. It's just sort of informal. And this is just an easy way for you to keep up with the development of the game without having to check our Twitter or like watch Twitch or something. So we're going to be covering in this one, we're going to go over the uh, ECGC, the East Coast Gaming Conference that me and Kevin just went to to show off the game. We're going to cover some of the Kickstarter criticisms we've got so far and also just like what's next, like what's next for me and Kevin up in the next coming week. Um, so we went to this conference, the uh, East Coast Gaming Conference in Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, we got some like pretty awesome feedback. I mean, people like a lot of people told us that we had the best booth, like we had the coolest game. Um, people really like it like once they see it. And like once we have the time to really explain what it's about, like people really get into it. Like uh, so, one of the things we were doing is we were we had T-shirt raffles. We were sh uh, we were showing off the T-shirt with the that one Kickstarter armor on the. It was basically just the that that, that logo that you see on like all the promotional stuff that we see that we have. Um, so we had raffles and we were giving those out. Um, we were handing out uh, for refrigerator magnets. Those things went out really quick. We were just giving that stuff out for free. We were also doing like free waters and like little. Um, pins for the people to put on their lanyards for the conference but overall like it was good just to see people's response to the game once they saw it in person so like we knew that like even if kickstarter doesn't work out you know we're not we're not foolish for trying to do what we're, like what we're gonna do like when people in the game's done people will like it um so to move on to the sort of kickstarter section uh talk about some of the kickstarter criticisms we have so far um and a, a lot of it is valid and some of it uh it's not that valid but there's definitely some stuff that we can change and we're going to work to try and change those things. So, so like, to start with uh, would be the video, obviously. So the video, um, now that we've had a chance to, like, look back and sort of get people's feedback. So the video is definitely too long. It's about, like, 9 minutes and 13 seconds, I think. Um, and people really, like, I feel like they don't want to stick around that long for something. And that's really our fault because, uh, I mean, me personally, I don't like reading stuff. So I was really afraid to leave information out of the video and, like, sort of hope people would read it. But it's like now that I'm, you know, seeing how people respond to it and even just at the conference as well, like I was able to explain what the game was about in a much faster time once I got more practice at it and people would give me the same sort of responses as like, you know, that same positive response, but I didn't have to explain everything so in depth. So we can probably cut that video down like at least like three or four minutes, hopefully. Um, the big thing is like we were focusing too much on the details and like not everyone really wants to know or needs to know how things work like so intricately in order to get the general idea of what we're trying to do. Um, there was also a few misunderstandings that it's really our fault that we didn't focus on in the video. Like some people, actually a lot of people ask me, you know, are you even making a game or are you just making a level editor and letting the community make the game for you? And somebody was like, oh, that's a genius making the community make the game for you. I was like, no, that's not it at all. So we definitely plan to make like a 30 hour RPG experience in our game, like standalone. It's so, like you don't have to uh, make anything to have something to play. I like, guess there's going to be stuff to play all, already, despite you know uh, user mods and stuff. So that was something we didn't really focus too much on the um, in the video. I think there was like one line, but the way it was said, it came off like uh, it was very low, I guess, at the point in the video, and it was just really fast. It was almost like skipped over. I feel like a lot of people probably didn't catch that part. So we're gonna definitely focus on that next time we do the uh, when we do like the video update and. Uh, there were some other, you know, good criticisms, like the awkwardness. And some of that, like, we couldn't really help. Like, me and Kevin just aren't good at memorizing scripts. And so, and, like, really, really like, acting, I guess, would be the term. But, uh, so, next time, what I'm going to do to sort of accommodate that would be to make it so you see our faces a lot less in the video. Pretty much only in the beginning and then in the end. That way, you don't, you don't have to see us uh, reading off the script and stuff as much, and you can just focus on like, the gameplay, and hopefully the better the voiceover will be better and focus more on the important stuff and selling the idea of the game and not like explaining exactly how like the level editor and stuff works. Um, so what's next? Uh, yeah, so a lot of people didn't like that we focused on the level editor so much, and like they wanted to see some gameplay. And they really, like to them, like a lot of people, if they're not interested in the level editor, I guess, at all, they almost like it doesn't count for them like they don't see it as gameplay but for us uh, like the level editor is gameplay like it's literally a game mode inside of the game because it's a level creation mode it isn't like additional software so some of those people were not gonna be able to make happy with uh, the new video we even do 
because we can't we don't have that stuff developed yet. We've only been working on this for six months, and we focused on the level editor because that's what we thought was special about the game, because it ensures like the game can go on and live past the initial like launch date in that first thirty hours. Like it's going to expand and constantly evolve because of that. And it's it is in the game. It's actually gameplay because it's a game mode inside of the game. Some people might not want to participate in that, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't count. You know, so. Um, so, so like those people, we won't really be able to make happy regardless. And unfortunately, if the Kickstarter doesn't work out, we might just have to take like another six or eight months to get more of the RPG gameplay stuff done in order to really win those people over. Because um, like a lot of that stuff, it's just the content's not there yet. Like I said, we've only had six months. There's only two of us. Like we just wanted to focus on making this really advanced level editor so we could show people, hey, you know, we're only two guys trying to make this ambitious game, but look at this level editor, look how complicated it is and like how advanced it is. So we were hoping that when they see, like especially with the demo and stuff, when they see how advanced this thing is, they can go, okay, you know, this is obviously the hardest part of like the game we're trying to make is making this advanced level editor that does all this stuff for you, randomly generating terrains and stuff. Um, so we were hoping that that would sort of, and they'd see also the visual quality that we're going for and already have achieved. So hopefully they would say, see all those things and say, okay, these guys can do it, That we, they just need time and the funding. So that, that was pretty much what we were trying to do, and it seems like we haven't really conveyed that message across that much. So we're going to definitely try to you know, cut out pretty much the bulk of the video and like redo it and just like not do any uh, facial, like really not show the faces until the very beginning and the end, and focus more on selling the concepts of what we're trying to do versus all these details and uh, not really explaining what the game is about on a like lower level instead of like going into the super details about everything. Um, so I guess, so what's next um, for us, for me and Kevin? So we're probably going to have a new build like for the demo out either by the end of the next week, I mean this week, end of the, this week or next week. Uh, just basically a bunch of bug fixes and then uh, Kevin also adding some like usability features because he got a bunch of feedback as far as uh, ECGC with having people try it out there and uh, just try to make it a little bit easier and like more conventional for people and, and like just make it so it works the way you would think it would work if you're used to any sort of level design tools. Um, so I'm going to be pretty much just working on nothing but marketing until Kickstarter starts to get some steam going. Um, so I'm basically going to be reaching out to, I, I've already started like I private messaged some YouTubers I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing email follow-ups with them, uh, just to remind them, you know, that wasn't just like a, a big spam email, like I'm actually sending these out, trying to get them to check things out, I'm not trying to like scam anybody. Um, I'm going to start messaging Twitch guys, uh, let's see, I've started posting on some RPG forums, I'm going to start, keep posting on more, and uh, also try to find some like smaller like game news sites and like game blogs. And uh, that's that's pretty much it for this first one. So that's what's that's what's next come up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be Twitch streaming as much as I normally do because it's going to be weird. Like if if I do stream, it's going to be literally just me sending like emails out to people and making posts. So I'll probably still do it because uh, I feel like I haven't been on in a while because we've been so busy with uh, ECGC and everything, and then like setting Kickstarter up. So I need to do it, but it might not be that interesting right now because I'm just going to be. Uh, making you know emails and stuff but if that's your type of thing you know we'll be on twitch this week sometime so um yeah so i guess as a just a, a wrap up you know people like the game once they see it and understand what it's about like once we have the chance to explain what it's about and i feel like we sort of dropped the ball with the first iteration of the video uh really conveying that message so we're gonna try to upload that new one hopefully monday uh, if I can get him, uh, Kevin in here to do his voice parts. And uh, so that way we could, you know, sort of try to repair and start to get this ball moving faster than it already is. Well, it's because it's not really moving that much right now. And uh, hopefully with the marketing efforts and just getting the name out, you know, we'll be able to start getting things going. Hopefully get funding on this campaign and not have to start over and not have to start a new Kickstarter campaign six to eight months down the road. Because then even if we, you know, still work on it for six to eight months, I'm going to have to go get another job. And so I'll pretty much be taking my time that I get now as far as how much work I put into the project now is probably gonna be cut into like a fifth you know between working and then like you know social obligations and stuff so that's pretty much it and uh, so I will see you hopefully next week well hopefully this will be like a weekly thing and this will be like the first update for the Kickstarter and I'll just you know I'll put this on YouTube obviously but uh, yeah so I'm gonna keep this going and uh, hopefully you guys you know keep supporting the game tell some friends but uh, I'll see you guys next time